Hello, this is uh, Mark Rube. Welcome to the um, iPad unboxing tutorial. Firstly, when we open up the uh, iPad package, you will see there is, um, there is a USB cable, it's a lot of things and charts, and every iPad comes with a wall shutter. This is um, it's universal power supply for the wall shutter, it's 100 to 220. And there is a cleaning cloth or something, but it doesn't come with any carrying case to let you know. So that's all the thing. The iPad actually is now available in two different types, the iPad Wi-Fi and the iPad with Wi-Fi plus 3G. Because the 3G you will get the um, SIM card slot, the micro SIM card slot, not just regular SIM cards, but micro SIM card slot. And um, underneath you got the 30 pin stop connectors and speakers. So let's just go deeper into the um, iPad specifications. Um, the iPad with Wi-Fi is now available in three capacity, 16, 32, and 64, 9x7 inch screens, LED display screens, multi-touch. It's got Wi-Fi capabilities and Bluetooth 2.1s. Battery lasts up to 10 hours on a single charge, weighing roughly 1.6 pounds for the Wi-Fi model. The Wi-Fi Plus 3G would be slightly heavier compared to the Wi-Fi 1. Here is the Plus 3G. It comes with 3G data service, but the data plan is available separately depending on the SIM carriers. And this time it will be slightly heavier. Not so much, probably around like um, 0 0.1 kilograms, a bit heavier for that one. You can see the big the black antennas on the backs. Firstly, let me go to Safari. Safari is a web browser. Okay, it's a free application and comes free loaded on every Mac. You get Safari for free right out of the box. Goes to any website, you can pin and zoom things, rotate, do stuff. You can bookmark a page. And um, with the app print feature, you hook up to for the moment, for this, uh, I mean, for 2000, for January 2011, you can just hook up to the uh, XP printer only. And mail for Mac, it works fine with um, lots of mail providers, such as, um, for instance, Google or Microsoft Exchange servers or whatever, AOL. But if you want to use this mail application with Hotmail, you have to select other, okay? And uh, it appears that you want to type any mails to anyone. You can select whether to tie with the um, on-screen keyboards or you can buy the dock connectors with um, tangible physical keyboard. So that's it, you can see. It's very easy just to um, enter your existing email address and your password and then you can add your email accounts. As I said, it might be a bit complicated for Hotmail, you have to select other. But apart from you guys like others, uh, mobile mail, Gmail, Yahoo, or um, LLs, whatever, Microsoft Exchange, your company mail. And um, I think iPad is a really great, great. Um, photo frames, it's like a digital photo frames. When you first transfer your photos from your camera to here one event, you can get deeper into each event. And you can print your photos directly to your printers wirelessly, but at the moment it works only with HP printers. And you can just hook up your camera right in, but you have to buy um, the camera connection kit which is available separately, but not so expensive. The camera's connection kit allows you to um, hook up your camera to your uh, iPad through USB ports or you can insert the um, SD cards into the SD card slot. It's pretty much easy to hook up the iTunes and see like sync photos and then all the photos from your Mac will be synced directly to your iPad and then you can check the checkbox whether you want any of these events or these photos or not or you want all of them or directly from your camera using the aforementioned adapter. 
I've asked so many people about what you like the best about the iPad. Lots of people say things like, well, I love the iPad because it has a very huge screen. One of the largest on the market in terms of um, smartphones or PDA, you've got almost 10 inch screen. So when you watch video, especially with the, the update for 4.2 of the uh, OS update, this time with the feature called AirPlay, the iPad allows you to stream your movies on your iPad directly to your Apple TVs and you can watch these movies on your large screens, LED screens at home, large television or you can stream your music from your iPad directly to your speakers and hook up to the Apple Express. So I think it's a really great device. You can't believe how nice it was when I first saw the movies that I downloaded onto my, my, my iPad. It's, it's a really great experience. App stores contains more than 40, 400,000 applications, okay? Around 30, 30 to 35 percent are phrase and demonstration ones, but you can download the phrase and enjoy them. And the thing is, even though you go for any you know devices in the world, none of those have the ability to access any of these content from the um, app store. Okay, you play games and everything. I think it's a great value if you want to play a game because those games are very cheap, like a few dollars, compared to any of those games from other vendors like Sony's or. Nintendo, NDS, or Xbox, you buy games for iPad. That means you carry not just our portable game players, but can be a computer, photo frames, or a web browsing device. But the true definition of the iPad, we call the iPad something called app centric device. So that's the thing. Of course, lots of people tend to buy less tangible books and then they move to the next area we call ePubs files or ePublication file. This is the new file that has been determined and defined as in 2009. So what are these things? With the iBooks application, which allows you to download an application free from the Apple iTunes store, iBooks allows you to read any types of ebooks, whether there are ePub formats or PDF or whatever formats. And you, there are numbers, I mean, more than millions of ebooks that you can download from Amazon Kindle website or Apple's iBook store. So you can buy books directly and then save from your iPad screen. You can save to your iPad and then enjoy reading books. There are a number of books like cartoons, fiction, and stuff, novels, and things. So that's the thing. iBook is one of the greatest experiences I've ever learned. So the world will be changed forever. So these are all the features.